Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I am your host, Rob Dial, and if you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another podcast episode. And if you're out there and you want some extra mindset tips on how you can improve yourself every single week, go to mondayemail.com right now. Once again, mondayemail.com. It is absolutely free, and I will send you an email every single Monday with what I am personally working on myself and how you can improve every single week with your focus starting on Monday. So join us on there. Once again, mondayemail.com. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about why right now might be the most important time in your life. Why I think right now is the most important time in your life and a very important piece to being a human. I think that one of the most amazing, if not the most amazing part of being a human, is that we can be anything that we want to be. Now, you might look at it and be like, okay, well, you know, I once when I was younger, I was a kid, I want to be an NBA player, but I only ended up being six foot one. I can't, not, not super, super athletic. I'm athletic enough and I can't jump really high. So you'd be like, well, you know, that's great and all. You can uh, try to be anything that you want to be, but you weren't able to become a basketball player. And I can go, yeah, maybe I didn't have the skills. Maybe I didn't have the right mindset then. Maybe I wasn't born with the athletics that I needed. But when you look at that, you could say, is the point of it, is the end result to get to the NBA or is the end result to become the best basketball player that Rob can become? And that's what we're going to dive into today is how can you become the best at whatever it is that you want to become? You don't have to be the best in the world, but the best that you are possibly capable of being. I think that one of the coolest parts about being a human is that you can decide to master anything. You can decide, you know what? I want to learn guitar and it's going to be the focus for the rest of my life that I'm going to be the best possible guitar player that I can be. I'm going to figure out what it's going to take to get there. I'm going to figure out who I need to hire as a coach. I'm going to figure out how to train myself, how I can go onto YouTube and practice, what my practice routine is going to look like. And you can have no skills at playing guitar or no skills at building a business or no skills at public speaking or no skills at anything right now. But there could be a piece of you that's like, you know what? I really want to master this thing. And that is the amazing part about being human is that we can master it to the best of our abilities if we put our focus into it. So really what it comes down to is what do you want to be? Who do you want to be? And I, uh, the very first, I only have two tattoos and people always ask me for pictures of them, but you know, I don't really have pictures of my tattoos. You could see them if you watch the videos, but I have a, a tattoo on my wrist, which is the Roman numeral X with the line above it, which is the Roman numeral for 10,000 because I love the idea of the 10,000 hour rule. If you're not familiar with the 10,000 hour rule, what it means is this, and it might be 9,000, might be 11,000, whatever it is, but it takes about 10,000 hours of what is called deliberate practice to master something. Deliberate practice doesn't mean that if I want to become a master at guitar, I, I learn how to play guitar and then I play the exact same songs over and over and over again. And that counts into my 10,000 hours. It means, Deliberate practice is about 85% of your capacity and 15% of it is a little bit more than you could do, but you're challenging yourself every single moment of that deliberate practice. And we're going to talk about how to actually use this deliberate practice to become who you want to be. If you look at the world right now, I feel like every day the world becomes more and more uncertain more and more uncertain. All the lockdowns we went through, all of the things that have come up, all the stuff that's happened over the past few years, you're just like, what in the hell has been going on? I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going to happen. All of that. But can I, with all of the uncertainty around me, build a whole lot of uncertainty into me? Will there be another lockdown? I don't know. Will there be another virus? I don't know. Is the economy going to crash? I don't know. Is the world going to self-destruct? I don't know. Is China going to take over? I don't know. I don't know any of these things and I'm not in control of any of those things. But what I am in control of is me and what I do. And I know that the more that I focus on myself, the stronger I become in whatever it is. It's like a tree in a storm. If there's a young tree and a massive storm comes through, I used to live in Florida, so I used to see trees knocked over all the time. Hurricanes would come through and just plow through places, right? And if it was a young tree, almost all the young trees would be knocked over. Why? Because their roots were not deep enough. And so the wind came in and just knocked them all over. If it's an old, mature tree, the roots are so deep 
that most of the time the storm won't knock it over. We had this tree that was in my front yard when I lived in Florida, and it was this huge banyan tree. I mean, this thing was like massive. And to walk around it was like a good 50 steps. The roots of that thing were so deep in the ground that when hurricanes came through and they knocked over power lines and they knocked over parts of buildings, that thing never budged. What I want to be is the physical version, the human version of that banyan tree that was in my front yard when I was a kid. I want to be so, so my skill set and my mentality to be so firm that no matter what storm comes through, nothing will happen. But before a tree grows up, it has to grow down. It has to plant deep roots. We planted trees in, in my uh, yard over the past two years since I lived there. They haven't grown up very much. Like they haven't really gotten more than like a foot in the past two years. But what they have been doing is growing down so that they can grow up. And so what I really want to focus on today is what needs to grow down? What do you need to feel those roots growing down into you so that you can actually start to grow up and be, be able to create the life that you want? And it's really how business works. It's how relationships work. It's how mindset works. It's how building any foundation of playing a, an instrument or playing a sport is you have to figure out how to get your skill set to be the best that it could possibly be. Right now, with all of the uncertainty that's happening in the world right now, what I'm focused on is how can I grow my roots deeper? And I know what that means for you, but when I ask you right now, if you were to grow your roots deeper, what does that mean for you? What does that mean for you? Think about that for a second. What does it mean to grow your roots deeper? To master that process of being you. To master the process of the things that you want to get better at. Right now, I'm getting focused on getting really great coaching from some of the best coaches that I can find in the world at a few things. In mindset, in neurobiology, in marketing, in business, some skills that I want to become much better at. I feel like I'm good at all of those things, but I feel like I can get even better at all of those things. You know, we invested over the past year into a new studio, a whole bunch of new stuff that we built into it. I want to, I want to be able to, to, at this point in time, set myself apart from everybody else that happens to be out there. You don't have to do exactly what I've done or what I'm doing, but there's books, there's coaches, there's mentors, some of the best people in the world that you can learn from. You might be like, well, Rob, I don't have any mentors in my area. I live in a small town. You can order any book that you want to online to be delivered to your house. You can go onto YouTube and you can learn how to do almost anything. You could go on Skillshare, which is, I don't, they don't sponsor this podcast, but you can go on Skillshare. You could pay whatever it is, 20 bucks a month or something like that and learn from tons of different masters on how to improve at something. There is no excuse right now with all the technology that we have with the internet to stay naive and actually, well, I guess you could say more than anything else, stay uneducated with whatever it is that you want to be educated in. You have all of the information of basically all of humankind at your fingertips at every single moment. And instead, you're deciding to scroll on Instagram. Think about that for a second. What if every moment that you had, every spare moment around your life, whatever it is that you're doing, everything that you got going on, every spare moment was, was geared towards how can I become better right now? Because I don't know, it feels like every day we just get more and more uncertain with what's going on. And with all of the uncertainty in the outside world, what I want to build, what makes me feel better is that no matter what happens on the outside, I'm getting better on the inside. I'm building myself and being the person I want to be. I had a friend that was over at my house the other day and he had a business that he sold a couple of years ago. He's got another, he, he just started getting into real estate investing. He's doing really, really well with the real estate investing. And he was talking to me. He's only been doing it for about a year, but he's making a bunch of money doing it. And he's like, hey, man, you ever get worried that like your business could just disappear? That, you know, things could just change. Algorithms could change. People could stop listening to the podcasts. Instagram would stop doing whatever it is. And, you know, your business would, you wouldn't have people follow you anymore. And the thing I said to him is I was like, yeah, I mean, it can be a fear. But the thing that I know is where I've gotten myself to if I were to be able to lose all of it, something happens, some flute comes in and I lose everything that I own, everything that I've ever had, my business, everybody, I could always build it back. And the reason why is because I have the knowledge of exactly how to do it. And that's why I said to him, I said, you've already built two multi-million dollar businesses. If you lost this business, I guarantee within the next 24 months, you could be at a million dollars again. 
Why? Because you have the skill set to do it. That's why you see people who are millionaires that become millionaires, they lose everything, and then four years later, they're back to being a millionaire again. That's why you can see people is because the most important thing is not buying shit, buying a new car and buying a new house. You know, that's, that's the thing that people in society really want you to focus on. Growing the economy is just buying things that you don't need. That's what everything is based off of. But that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is how can I take my money, my time, my energy and focus it on building myself? Because that is the only thing that cannot be taken from you is the knowledge that's inside of your brain. So how can you focus on making sure that's knowledge that those deep, deep roots are as deep as they could possibly be, especially with all the uncertainty that's happening, right? Double down on everything that's important to you in your life. Double down on your knowledge, double down on your family, double down on your investing, double down on your savings, your income, how to make more money, whatever it is that's important to you, double down on that thing. It's not time to sit back and wait and see what happens in the world. It's time to double down. It's time for you to double down on yourself, on your family, on your knowledge, on your joy, your happiness, whatever it is that you want to double down on, it's time to do it, right? Warren Buffett, one of my, I always go back to the same phrase. When others are greedy, be fearful. And when others are fearful, be greedy. And right now, just being honest with you, it seems like people are starting to get very fearful. And I said this, two years, three years ago, whatever it was, whenever we had this lockdown, whenever we were in our last lockdown, right? I said this and I said, right now, when I was, if you go back and literally listen to 2000, 2020, if you go back to April and March of 2020, when I was creating podcast episodes, I was like, right now is not the time to be fearful. It's not the time to hard. Right now is a double down on yourself, double down on everything that you're doing. So if you slow down now and just say, you know what? Let's just see what happens in the world you're going to be left behind in a couple of years. You might be too late because the world is changing so fast and it can be, it can feel scary to have uncertain times because uncertain times, our brain wants to be able to predict what could possibly happen. But if things are uncertain, the brain goes, uh, red flag, red flag, red flag. I can't predict. I don't know what's going on, going on. Stay inside of your comfort zone, shut down. Don't do anything new because I can't predict what the future is going to look like. Your brain can do that, but uncertain times can also be a blessing if you let them be. Obviously, there's a lot in the world going on right now. There's always a lot in the world going on. Are there crazy, terrible things that we wish weren't happening in the world going on? Hell yeah. I mean, since I became conscious of what was happening in the world, that's always been that way though. But the better that we are, the more that we can impact the world. If we can't even take care of ourselves, how are we going to think that we can go and impact people in the world? So if you're sitting there and you're with all of the stuff that's going on around and you're like, oh man, I just gotta, let me just wait it out. Let me see what's going on. No, no, no. This is your time to shine. This is your time to figure out what it is that you want to master because you have the opportunity to master something in this life. What is it? And when you look at somebody who we look up to, if you look at like Tom Brady, if you look at Michael Jordan, if you look at anybody who's ever been great, that's somebody who has decided to put a concerted effort of everything that they have into being the person who is mastered, doing the best that they could possibly be at that thing, right? Like I was, I was watching a video the other day. It was all of Tom Brady's old teammates talking about Tom Brady. And they were like, this guy, he's 24 seven. And the reason why it's hard for, hard for him to, to come back and play every single year is because of the fact that he is 24 seven. It's not like, Hey, during the off season, I'm going to take off. It's like, he literally is playing and practicing and working on his plyometric and working on his body every single day. He has his trainer to train with him every single day. He travels the world with him. He does everything he possibly can. So it's like mastering, becoming, not becoming the best football player ever, but becoming the best Tom Brady that he could possibly be has made him the best that there could be because he's put all of his effort into that thing. Sometimes it requires an obsession and the obsession of becoming the best that you could possibly be is one of the best obsessions I can think of. So you have to learn that you have this chance in your life to become a master at something, or you could just sit back and just be comfortable with where you are. But if you listen to this podcast, you don't want to be comfortable with where you are. You want to learn, you want to grow, you want to make something amazing of your life. So figure out what it is that you want to master and put every single ounce of energy into mastering whatever that is. So that's what I got for you for today's episode. If you love this episode, please share it on your Instagram stories and tag me at Rob Dial Jr. R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. And once again, 
follow the uh, podcast on Instagram as well. So you're not just scrolling through a bunch of cat videos. Let me help you inside of your Instagram feed and put in some positivity. So follow this podcast, The Mindset Mentor Podcast on Instagram. We're putting up a bunch of unseen, never before seen videos, never heard before, some talks that I've given before in the past that have never been, never before been seen. So follow me on there, The Mindset Mentor Podcast on Instagram. And I'm going to leave it the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make someone else's day better. I appreciate you and I hope that you have an amazing day.